Hello and welcome to Elliot's podcast. We are in Earl's Court Park and this is one that was on my hit list because it's very it's a big park and I knew that I wouldn't have the same problem as I did in Bickford Park, which a uh, little review for you in that park I had the um I went there on a like a peak time. It was like before the weekend and I stuffed myself in the tree line. <laughs> so I knew that coming here um, in the middle of the day wouldn't be as, as stressful because this project is, is really pushing me out of my zones, my comfort zones, and it's been pretty good. This is my third time in a park and Earl's Court... I think it's, I hope it's not called Earlsdale, because <laughs> it might be, so, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a big park that's kind of a fitness, it's, it's, it's known for its fitness facilities, and it has a dog park, like any good park does, like an enclosed dog space, but there's a big track, and there is also a, there's a pool, and it's, yeah, it's in the Lansdowne, Lansdowne in St. Clair area, which is also called Corsa Italia, Corsa Italia. So there, there is a little Italy in Toronto that is a few major streets south of here that most people know as Little Italy. And then there's this area, which is a more authentic Italian. There, if you want to find some real real authentic <laughs> how, how, how authentic can it be but it uh, can we make it but the, it's a different vibe altogether and it really comes alive when there's football soccer championships but this park is very is large and it's a large ma- landmass uh, you can also hear there's a lot of traffic noise because the the parkland side of it is right next to a right next to a the two roadways uh, Davenport and I guess that other one is Caledonia so it's yeah it's a nice day really nice day actually I shouldn't just say it like casually this is this is superb weather and yeah today I am playing the clarinet <laughs> Which is funny because it wasn't really intended. Hold on, I gotta do an adjustment on my levels here. It's a little loud for my my hearing. It wasn't really att- intended that I would play the clarinet, but th- what happened is, I'm just gotta take off my shoe here. What happened is that I actually lost my instrument that I was supposed to be playing, which is the melodica. I just can't find it. Uh, Melodica was last used on a track called Let Love In. I did a little solo on there and I was in the video for that playing Melodica. And then today when it came time to get my Melodica, I couldn't find it. Now what happened with the clarinet is is that I I bought a clarinet at a, at the Long and McQuaid um, sale a few years ago. Oh, many years ago. There was like a clearance sale and they were clearing out student band instruments and I picked up a clarinet that was maybe Jupiter brand and I I had it for a long time didn't really take it out of the case and then when I did sometimes I didn't I didn't properly like I'd leave it out and so I didn't put it back and then I recently looked at it again and then I, I got it appraised for what it would cost to fix it up. And what happens is with, with wind instruments is the, the felt pads go bad. And, and if you want to redo them, it's like the same price as the instrument itself almost. It was like a 500 or more dollars. So I said I would try renting an instrument and they actually rented me a brand new Yamaha student with it's a plastic made uh, clarinet, and the 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 rate on it is about twenty five dollars a month, 
So just so people know this, I mean, I, I'm sure it's the same in the States, but you can rent just about anything. So like if you want to try something out, don't buy anything, just rent it <laughs> and then see, see how you do. I'm not, I'm not doing amazing with, uh, keeping up with a routine and, and, but I'm, I'm still kind of, it's, I'm about about the third month of the rental. It spends a lot of time in the case. And I did take one lesson recently and I'll probably take another soon. And it was, the, the lesson was good because it kind of helped assure me that I'm, that I actually have ability to play, but it wasn't, it was also kind of daunting, like to know what you're up against. Uh, the clarinet is, has an issue called the break, which is that you, you're in a low register and then you, when you want to get to the high register, it's a shift in a few things and the break will break you <laughs> if you, because that is, yeah, you gotta, you gotta develop the technique to get around the break because it'll happen where you're half your musical passage is in the upper register and the other half is below the break. So the funny thing is, is that because I couldn't find my melodica, I said, okay, let's push the clarinet out into the podcast. And I think that's a good way to, to get playing on or actually integrate. If you're trying to learn something, just start playing it. I know people in the improvised music space, they just play, uh, play like random instruments because that's the point of that that style of music is they're they're going to make noise with like a tuba or or trumpet and i'm not really in that that's not my intention I, I'm, I'm more inspired by new orleans jazz squeaky klezmer that kind of thing in, in mixing that with some kind of weird punky sound that's my intention with the clarinet i don't know how long it'll take to get there but anyways i'll be playing the clarinet in a few minutes and the yeah i guess the 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 topic that i will will talk about today cuz i'll only just pick one topic i always have a lot of stuff on my mind and a lot of things to to work through but it, it was interesting i went to see my friend do some comedy last night and afterwards we were standing outside just chatting for a few minutes and i saw the moon up in the sky it's we're in the first quarter of the moon in july 2022 and i didn't really know what the moon i have read some stuff about like working with the moon cycles and i i never really i've tried some stuff where you 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 know there's an article on oprah's website about it and if that article is actually very helpful because I read other articles that were not as helpful. But there is a whole world of of some some ladies I see online call it witchy stuff. That's their that's the like hashtag for like witch witchy stuff. <laughs> and I've seen some stuff about like how to work with the moon cycles, which I from my basic understanding is is that you would uh, bef- when the the moon is just about to start like a new moon you set some intentions for your work or what you want to do in in whatever you like and then as the moon uh manifests and comes to life then you that's as that's how you work with the moon and then and then i guess the full moon is when it all comes to a head and then as the moon goes downwards then you then you I guess reflect on how everything went your little push <laughs> a sprint as they call in the startup world so that's kind of what I'm I'm learning and then when I was out with my my friends and I saw the the moon it kind of occurred to me that the moon is like when you see it in the sky it's a reminder of what you're working on and so I've never been the type that necessarily sits down at the new moon and and really is fully intending on this or that to happen uh, it is fairly new practice for me overall to understand the moon cycles but i when i saw that moon last night i kind of it kind of clicked like this is your chance to um this is your chance to there's a, a dog coming so it's kind of funny hello 
Let's see. Oh, the dog make it in? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yes, we got a guest. <laughs> What's her name? Freddie. Freddie. Okay. That's Freddie. <laughs> I got a lick from Freddie. We wonder if Freddie is uh, COVID positive or negative. That's just a funny... I mean, I, I don't mean to go off on that tangent, but yeah, they did read this week that the pets do, they, they, they do have COVID positive and negatives. And um, it, thankfully it doesn't, they might have it, but they don't really, not, they, they don't, we don't see our, our pets getting sick, but they, 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 I mean, there is questions about the general transmiss transmissibility from the animals. But I just mention it because Freddie licked me. <laughs> That was a nice little break. And that's the beauty of doing this outdoor show is, is that I, I interact with the world and the, like this, the sounds of the sounds of the, of what happens in the park and the, and the different things going on is pretty, is pretty interesting. The, like the, there is actually a good birdscape in this park. I can hear like there's a good birds have taken up a good a good ecosystem here and so anyways the moving along oh i gotta take off the other shoe so i saw the the moon in the sky and i kind of remembered what i maybe am working towards this month and i'll share it with you right now is that i i would like to kind of the joke is once and for all um, be rid of of songwriter's block that's my hope and, and that's what I'm working on this month I want to just kind of put it to end for a while I know it'll come back eventually and that's that's what happens with this kind of stuff but I definitely have been in a in, and I did do that last release in uh, I think March but I really, I really do want to connect with what is is blocking, and be, being able to move forward. I, I'll tell you what a lot, just the gist of what blocks is, is this this process after a song is done. Is like you've got to put it up online and then share it with everyone. And I think that, and I think the truth is, is that you just have to connect with, with. The 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 moment of of working on your track and seeing it through to the end and not getting too attached to what what will happen after it's done or even while it's happening because you might be working on a track that's just not that good and you just can't you got to see it through to the end and see where it might morph and it's actually been helpful to reread a bit of Jeff Tweedy's book, How to Write a S One Song, I think it's called, or How to Write a Song. It's it's actually quite good. The first time I read it, it was, I was like, okay, blah blah blah. Some I knew there was good advice in there, but then I'm rereading it in the form of an audiobook, and he's very good about, about you know you you can play a, like a song can happen, without. A song, a, you can sit down and play an instrument for three minutes and you wrote a song. Like that's, that's the, can be just the beginning and the end of it. It doesn't have to be this whole production with like, um, how it was produced and, and the, and the, the, the song format and the, and the, the, the structure of the song and all that. It, it's, that's kind of secondary. So anyways, the point of this, this, Thing about the moon is that I saw it in the sky and that was a reminder that I have a mission to work on while this moon is up there and then and we do kind of get you kind of get like a few weeks where the moon is visible it seems to spend quite a bit of time invisible so I guess what happens is it goes to full moon and then it wanes off and then and that's the time when you're supposed to be reflecting on how well you did so if you haven't worked with the moon cycles, I recommend giving it a shot and then seeing how it can, how you can integrate it with some of your work. So that's kind of on my mind. All right, so we will play some clarinet. We are in Earlsdale or Earls Court Park, one of the two of those. 
And yeah, I hope you have a lovely week ahead. And uh, thanks for watching and listening to Elliot's podcast. And you can support. Support goes through Patreon and Coffee. So Coffee is, and this is in the show notes, but Coffee is for a one-off donation. It literally buys a coffee, and then Patreon is an ongoing thing where you're saying, okay, I really, I watch this guy like week after week. I listen to his releases. I'm, I really want to support what he's doing here. And then the Patreon, I keep working on different ways to to make it interesting. And so I've been doing these monthly mixes that I, I give the download file for the, the, the patrons, and they can you can take it with you to go. So that's that's Patreon. It's it starts at actually at the old the moment is only three dollars a month is the the tier that I have and then I'm working keep working on this tier for people who are looking to do stuff that's similar to what I do with my videos and my music and teaching them about well not teaching but really giving people a chance to have a weekly uh, prompt or check in about what you can do to be more present online. And I think I've, I think I'm pretty much nailing that because um, it's uh, the presence is that um, the the presence comes down to really just just showing up. Really, is that that's sort of the, the the my take on the whole thing. For other people, it's it's about um, being uh, being being exuberant and. Um, being uh, over the top that's not me and that's why the park thing works for me is it's it's really just about sitting down saying hello um, playing some music get in get out (laughs) don't dwell on it don't don't let it take over your life it's just very basic stuff and I I really hope that younger people will eventually tune into to what I'm doing because I think I think a lot of creator media and, and in pressure for creating content is a, is just a bit too intense lately some of it's good but but other parts of it I don't really I don't really um, take too much and and that that's some of that stuff is just overdoing it um, over over creating o- over over uh what's this word about leaving trying to o- o- over it's on the tip of my tongue be basically over pressing and 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 this need to rush to become famous is just not needed if you can consistently find something that works for you in in your mental health and i don't think that uh, I've I've done stuff where I I push a bit harder and and it just I don't I can't sustain it but to just be able to sit down calmly and 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 talk to people and and tell them what you're working on and what you know is is just enough for me. So thank you so much for for listening and being in the park with me and we'll see you soon. Okay, take care. <laughs>